National Championship ring that was presented to you, I believe, uh, last spring? Yes, sir. Yeah, those are very nice. Here's Aaron Gouge. Looking, tipped, and Thick comes to the ball. Underneath, David Wilkes misses, and we have a whistle. If I'm not mistaken, that's going to be David Wilkes' fifth. So. It is. On number double zero, David Wilkes has fouled out. And that is the team's sixth. And David Wilkes, the freshman, leaves with 10 points. As far as classifications, uh, Corey, and juniors and seniors, I'm sure you see the, the development pretty early on. I mean, just because you're a freshman doesn't mean that by the time you're a senior, you're going to play. Yes, sir. Actually, most of these guys will actually play in juniors together, so they grown up knowing each other and know how each other plays. So. Yeah, yeah, that classification really means nothing. No. 12 points for Applegate. It's 53-43, a 10-point lead, winding down to the five-minute mark. What about the national interest last year in a Final Four tournament? What was it like? Uh, it was a very actually rowdy crowd. Uh, a lot of uh, people, of course, there's a lot more teams than there are here at this particular tournament, but uh, the atmosphere is, is amazing. Aaron Gouge misses with 4.34 to play. Bounce pass to Ulrich. Stevens gives it off inside, and as soon as he unloaded the pass, the foul on Eric Harris, number 21. Or did they call it on Stevens, number 12? No, it's on Harris. And that, as they put up his number, that's his third. 422 to play. ETA is going to have to find some inside presence here because they lost Wilkes there to that five fouls. Yeah, that may rest upon Tyler Garner's uh, shoulders. Jay Russell back in, number 34. There's Russell. His shot was tipped. Russell, a junior from Cleburne. Under four minutes. And that will count. Brendan Downs, and he was hit after the shot, a timeout taken by Jim Hayes and UTA with 3.50 to go, and Arizona going to be at the line. Coach Derek Brown, a little bit of a comeback here in the second half. It is 53-45, so Downs has 18 of the 45 points. What about a big lead? I mean, as you, as that's you win, kind of a good position to be in. Yes, sir, but as you can see in this particular game, the, the big leads dim can diminish fairly quickly. But they are crucial at the, especially the first quarter, getting out to a big lead really uh, helps the team and keep them motivated throughout the second half. National championship games. Three of the last four years have been decided by seven points or less. Again, the Arizona Wildcats coming off of a victory in their last game over Oklahoma State UTA, defeating Alabama 62 to 40 at the line with a basket and one. Brendan Downs. in shooting for his 19th points. And he has it. And now the lead at just seven, a seven point Maverick lead. Both teams with seven fouls. And again, David Wilkes has fouled out with 10 points for the Mavericks. He came in averaging over 20 points a game. Danny Fick spells his last name F-I-K at the free throw line. Going to lob it to Aaron Gouge. Holds it up, shoots, and two more for the junior. 
very good shot by Aaron on the block. He actually didn't have anyone else helping him set screens. He actually did that all by himself, which is very good. That's 30 points for the junior. Here's a three-pointer missed. Mike Applegate taking the three. Goose around downs, under three minutes to play. Shot clock down to 14. Inside, James Patton missed. Patton was open. Harris to number 12, knocked loose of the ball. Yeah, Ryan actually, Stevens lost it. Danny came behind him and actually hit that ball out from behind him. Here's Fick. And as soon as Fick tries to spot Aaron Gouge inside, Mike Applegate, number 32, is charged with a foul. And that's Applegate's third and the team's eighth. And Danny Fick at the line where he is one of two. Eleven points. Grab by Garner. Garner got the rebound outside of Goose who misses. Intercepted by Fick. Yeah, that just shows the quickness of Danny Fick right there. Danny Fick was hub to hub with Eric Harris. Got away from him and got the steal. And here's a holding foul. And again, uh, Corey, holding to be constituted the physical hold and the other kind, which we've seen a couple of times in the first half. Yes, sir. It's actually hooking with the uh, casters of the chairs. It's kind of a thing that the referees rarely catch because only the players can tell when they hook somebody, so it's kind of an advantage for them. And those casters extend out. What a good seven to eight inches. Yes, sir. It's actually protection of the exterior limbs. That helps out a lot when they hit each other uh, from the front. Jeff Sales, a freshman from Red Oak, Texas, in the game for the first time. And Jay Russell, number 34, comes out. Aaron Gooch has himself a 31-point game. And a 10-point lead with a minute 48 to play. UTA in position to go to 10-3. and three. And that one launched by number 42, Evan Ulrich. You could hear it, Eric Harris hitting Aaron George. Little steel to steel contact. And a one and one, or is that the 10th? That is the 10th, the two shotter. And a chance for Aaron to add to his total. What's the most points you've seen individually by a player? Or UTA Corey, can you uh, remember offhand? The most points I've ever, actually ever seen was uh, by Mikey Pay last year against Illinois. He he actually had 40, I think I believe it was 41 points last year, and uh, the entire Illinois team scored a total of 42. So he only <laughs> lost by one technically. I Is guess. that right? Yes, sir. The steal with a minute 26 to play, and UTA going to win this game to go to 10 and three on the year. They came in averaging 63, they have 58. They came in holding their opponents to 47. And two more foul shots awarded, number 42, Aaron Gouge. Yeah, UTA's done a very good job of uh, their defensive rebounding and also getting to the line and making their foul shots. That's what's really increased this lead here at the end of the game. Arizona able to sink three three-pointers.